All right, I think I'm streaming, I'm trying to make sure the chat is here. I've got a glass of rosé and some Erin Condren stuff, and that's what we're going to do today. So let's see how this works. Mm. Anyway, let me turn some lights on to see if it's like not quite so dim over here. Jesse's also getting ready to go to band practice, so if you hear a bunch of commotion in the background, that's why. There we go. We got some lights now. All right, so this, this is a just dry rosé that I'm drinking. I'm just having one glass. And, uh, huh? The picnic, yes, Jess. Um, hi, everybody. How's it going? I, um, I've also got some news, so I might as well start this off with the news before I get into the actual situation. Um, my surgery got rescheduled for the 23rd instead of the 16th, but I still finished my book on time, relatively. I still have to turn everything in, and I gave my sermon today, and it went great. So now I suddenly have no deadlines this week. And I don't have my sermon for another, or my surgery for another week. So yay, question mark? <laughs> Which was really stressful for me when I found out, believe me. I had been so ready to have my surgery this week that when they told me it was moved another week, I was like really out of sorts. I didn't know how to handle it. And now I am just gonna take it as a sign that I can do some painting and maybe some work around the house and some like administrative work and not be so stressed out like I was this week. Anyway, so yay, thank you everyone. And the book, I still pro I may have a little tiny bit more of revisions and stuff. I'll find out on Monday when I send everything in, but for the most part, I'm done with it. So anyway, headspace time, yeah. Okay, so what are we doing today? Now you guys have probably seen, I know Lakin did a video, uh, Jen and Julie have been posting pictures. I haven't seen what all else because I've been busy being all religious and giving a sermon today. But um, but Aaron Condren's got some new stuff. It's like office organization shit that they got for the back to school lunch. And they asked me if I wanted to see some of it. And if you guys haven't figured out by now, I am a hoe for office organization stuff, just like I'm a hoe for tote bags. I'm a hoe for desk shit. So I'm excited about this stuff, but I'm also curious to see what the quality is like and everything else. I haven't really looked at it yet. All I did was glance to make sure everything was okay. And I printed off the information they gave me on prices and everything else. But we're going to go through this together. I will give you my honest opinions. They sent it to me, but I will, this is not sponsored. I will give you my honest opinions and you guys are free to ask me questions and I can answer them the best I can by either poking and prodding the stuff or guessing. <laughs> so... How did my sermon go? It went great. Made someone cry. That's always my goal. Um, anyway, so let's start looking at this stuff. And yeah, so we'll go into the little box first. They gave me a little box with two things in it. These things. And they are, I also have that list. Where did I put the list? Okay. Like I said, feel free to ask questions and I can try and figure it out. I also went through and marked, oh, hi, Mark, everything that they sent me because there are some different patterns and things that I didn't get. I only got certain things. And so I tried to, I'll let you know if there is more, um, more stuff that's that style. All right. Anyway, so the first thing is this situation and this is the metallic hexagon pen and clip holder. This comes in two colors charcoal and blush it's six dollars and they sent me the blush all right you got charcoal lakin yeah see i feel like i would have wanted charcoal except that i love rose gold and it matches like i have the i spent the money on the acrylic thing but they have a good trip or a good uh <laughs> practice whatever the hell it is you're doing um there are so, there's some stationery. Oh, the charcoal has yellow gold. Oh, gross. I wouldn't want that. Not that I hate yellow gold, but the thought of charcoal and yellow gold together is just not my vibe. This is so much more my vibe. All right, let's take a look here. Let's see what we got in here without completely destroying it. All right. Hey, Meg. Okay, here we go. Let's get everything out. Let's take a look at the quality. I was worried these were going to be cardboard. These are not cardboard. These are like plastic. So here's the pencil cup. Wait, what the hell are these things? Okay, it's the pencil cup. The fuck is this? Is this like to hold, I guess to hold paper clips. And then it comes with paper clips and binder clips, question mark. I wonder if they're rose gold. I wonder if they're, yes! <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so pink and rose gold. There's no section in here for both. See, if you had both in here, which I'm gonna do just to be horrible and like mix everything up, even though in my desk I don't do that. Like, you could put them all in here. This is like a clip holder. And like I said, it's plastic and it's got the rim, the rim job of the rose gold on the bottom. The clips it came with are like a blush color with rose gold hardware. And then the regular paper clips are like a soft pink. Can you see those? Now to show you that I don't actually live my life that way, I actually keep my paper clips in this little thing here and then my binder clips in this other little thing. So even dumping those in together kind of horrified me. I bet what I would probably use this for overall is just binder clips and just dump all my binder clips and not have them be matchy matchy and just stick my regular paper clips in there because my regular paper clips I don't use as often as the binder clips. That is such a small bluff, but here, like, this is what I would do. So let me, let me, let's not be ridiculous here. Let's not mix up all of the clips. Let's separate these motherfuckers out because this is what I'm actually going to do because I think I want to keep these on my desk because I really like them. I, so far, these are a keep for me. I like these. I think they're adorable. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just dump all my other binder clips in here and my random paper clips that made their way into here. Like this little one that's like, hello, how's it going today? I've had a long day, you guys. Just, oh, I'm good. What about you? I'm sorry. I'm like losing my shit. Pay no attention to me right now. I've actually got some pink ones too. I wonder where I got these. This one has gold hardware though. And I'll just put these pink ones on top. And there we go. That is is a handy little binder clip holder for my desk. I will totally use that. This now, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm actually in the process of redoing certain parts of my office because we're gonna use one of my pieces of office furniture in a different part of the house. So I, this actually comes at a good time for me. Let's put it that way. <laughs> are you actually allergic to rose gold, Julie, or are you just being weird? And this thing, I actually don't think I'll keep on this part of my desk because I'm gonna move my camera for a moment here. Don't look at my address. For those of you who don't know, I already have the sexiest paper, uh, pe whoops, sorry. I already have the sexiest pencil holder in the world and that's this thing. I love this thing for my pencil holder. So on my desk, okay, here we go, going back. I love that thing, so I'm not gonna replace that, but what I may use this for is holding my paintbrushes on my art desk because right now they're currently in this this happy planner mug but i feel like this would be really cute to stick them in i think that would be really cute to stick them in and it'll be a little less wide because this takes up a lot of space i'm not sure yet so i'm going to move this over to here and i'll think about that later but that'll definitely not be a pencil holder um all right so but this thing definitely staying on my desk. So this blush, metallic, whatever the fuck it's called, metallic pencil, metallic hexagon pen and pencil clip holder, pen and clip holder, I can't read. Uh, these are all coming out on the 17th on the website, by the way, 16 bucks. It's pricey, it's not, but it's, it's plastic, so that's nice. It's not inexpensive, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's like outrageously expensive either. I feel like you could pay comparable prices at home goods for something like that so just gonna say it's not it's middle range pricing i feel like but i could be wrong on that look it matches my drink rose and here's my my thing and then i've got this thing too because i spent the money on those because i'm a hoe for rose gold yeah so yeah okay my desk is gonna be all matchy matchy isn't that exciting let's move on why is there no, that's a good idea. Why, I think the charcoal and silver would have been gorgeous and they could have done the gold with some other shit. Some like uh, cream, maybe like a white and gold option. White and gold, charcoal and, and silver, and then blush and rose gold. That would have been awesome. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Kate. I wish you could stick around, but I appreciate the super chat. Yeah, no, 16, one, six, not six, zero. Gray and gold, navy and gold would be cute. Deborah, I think gray and gold would be gorgeous. I just feel like the charcoal is so dark that I'm just, I don't know, it's just not a thing. But anyway, let's move forward to something that I have been really excited about, but I heard that there's a different color of this. So D designer hourglass, there is two of these. There is this one, which is Lagoon is the name, the color name, and it's 20 minutes. 
And then there is a trio, which are gem tones, which are different colors. This is $16, and then the trio is $34. And I did not get the trio. I got this one, which is like, it's looking like it's a similar color scheme to the neutral situation, which means I probably would leave this on my art desk as opposed to this desk because it won't really match the stuff I've got here. But let me tell you why I'm excited about this. I have lately been wanting to spend money on like a time cube or something. Something that I can, oh, I hate styrofoam, but I understand it's glass. Um, it's very well packaged. I don't think it's gonna break on the, oh. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I'm gonna break this. Oh, I'm gonna break this so quickly. But that is so cute. Oh my God, I want that in the pink. This would be great for Pomodoro technique. Yeah, so like, because for me, I have been um, wanting like a time cube or something to give myself like to time myself because using my phone as a timer, I always wind up looking at Instagram or something while I'm on my phone. But something where I can just like flip it over and just start the timer. And while I am worried that I am going to break this, this is so much cuter than one of those little time cubes with the numbers on it. And honestly, I feel like if I have something that I can change, I can change all the numbers, but I can change all the times. Like, oh, I can do 15 minutes or, oh, I can do 30 minutes. Then I'm just gonna fuck with it because I, I like fucking with shit. And normally I set my own time goals. So having just like a 20 minute timer for me actually is really useful. Is there an acrylic box you can keep it in? Not this, it comes with this box with the styrofoam in it but I'll likely just keep it on my desk. I'm just gonna let this run until it's empty. Um, I'm not worried about Loki knocking it over. Loki doesn't get on my desk very often. I'm worried about me knocking it over. The timers that I, um, for the ones that are the gem tones, I have no idea. It, did any of you guys in the comments who got this stuff ahead of time get the trio of hourglasses? Because I only got this one and this one says on here it's 20 minutes, but the other ones don't have times on them on this paper that I'm looking at. Nobody got the trio? Okay. Yeah, so I have no idea. I'm not sure. But, um, but I like this, and I think I will use this. What I would probably use this mostly for is when if I say I'm gonna set 20 minutes for answering emails or 20 minutes to work on like a painting or something because sometimes I can get really wrapped up in what I'm doing and then I don't take a break and then my fistula hurts. I've learned that recently with working on the book. So having something to remind me, even if it's like I'm gonna give myself an hour and I just flip it over twice, that's fine too. If it's buffering for you, make sure to just uh, re uh, reload. Anyway, I think it's beautiful though. This is absolutely lovely and I can totally see myself using this and I'm gonna keep it um, for, it's, it's a tchotchke, let's, let's put it that way. It's a tchotchke, 16 bucks, like it's nice quality, like it's glass and it feels very nice and kind of delicate. If you look at it like this way, it's very like, and I'm so afraid I'm gonna break it. It's very delicate, but this is a fucking tchotchke. Let's be honest. This is a tchotchke, but it's a tchotchke with at least some use. So I'm excited about that one. So, so far I'm two for two on these things. Two for two. It's 20 minutes. Your guess for the lagoon, for the other things is um, 10, 20, 30 for the three. Yeah, one of them looks wider than the other. I don't know. If you got the EC Insider email, there's a picture of it. And I was like, ooh, I want the pink one but I have no idea. So I guess we'll have to see when they come out. I may pick that one up because I really love the idea of this one. And if I pick that one up, I may give, if there's a double of this one, I may give it to Katie and be like, here you go, dude. Now you have to time yourself too. It's a useful chalky. All right, anyway. So this is the hourglass, 16 bucks for the tchotchke and the three pack we don't have any information on, except that it's $34. Okay, now I'm on to the big box, because this box is a, whoa, holy shit. This is a big puppy, you guys know, haven't seen it, but it's massive. All right, moving forward, we've got some little things here. All right, some different push pins and so on and so forth. Now, <laughs> I'm not gonna use these. <laughs> Cactus. That's not my thing. That's not my thing. Okay, these are shaped paper clips. They're shaped 
push pins. I'm sorry, shaped push pins. And they have four different ones. They have four different ones. And, um, okay, I'll, yeah, so tchotchkes are knickknacks. Thank you, River Cat's explaining in the comments. Tchotchkes are knickknacks, and Pomodoro is, is a way to track, like, to only set certain, and I was it 20 minutes where you're like, you only work on things for 20 minutes at a time, and then you take a quick break. Anyway, it was named after a tomato shaped timer, Deborah. I did not know that. Okay, so, um, the cactus ones. There are four different ones of these shaped push pins. There's gold palm trees or gold palm something, rose gold palm, cactus that are gold, which are these ones, and then rose gold cactus. I might use the rose gold palm, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give these. These are going to go into a giveaway because I'm. Just, they're cute, but like they're not. They're so not me. These are like not even remotely me. So. You got the rose gold palm or the rose gold cacti? Palm leaves. Okay, yeah, I would get the rose gold palm leaves. I'd probably use those. I wouldn't use, this is too fucking Southwestern for my shit. So these guys are uh, 650 for this pack. That's pricey. They're cute, but that's pricey. But yeah, nope, not gonna use those. Okay, good. I guess we can point out and take a look at it too. Let's do that. I can't open this shit. Wouldn't it be hysterical if there were eggplants? Fuck yeah, it would. Okay, I'm ripping this. So whoever gets this from me eventually, you're just going to have to know that that was made with love. Okay. 20 on, 5 off for Pomodoro. All right. So they come with the more styrofoam. Fucking hell, a styrofoam. And they're just like a push pin. I bet you could put it back on these and wear them as earrings if you love cacti that much. But they'll probably jab you in the back of the head. It's a really, like, long push pin. Like, that's, like, girthy. All right. Okay, so that's these puppies. And we're going to... Those are going to be in the nope pile for me. No cactus push pins. No thank you. No spank you. Okay. And then these are gold page markers. Again, like... I don't know if I'd use these anyway. The page marker things, like I know some people use them, but there's like the page markers, there's the all eclipse, there's all that shit. I have some of those floating around. I don't even know where they came from. And I don't fucking use them, like at all. Like when I, I, you guys, some of you are going to think I'm a horrible person. I, I am a, a book dog ear person. I fold down the pages of my books and I am not ashamed of it. I fold my pages down. I don't use bookmarks. I massacre my books and I'll give a fuck if you don't like it. Okay. So here we go. Let's open these up and see what's going on. So these guys are, what the fuck is this? I guess this is like to hang it on, but that seems so like useless. Like what the, I guess it's for like merchandising. <laughs> like what the, this one doesn't have it. What the fuck? Oh wait, does it come out? Maybe we'll go on this side. <laughs> I do bend the spines too. Nope, it doesn't attach. It's just for the store. Look, there it is. Here you go. You get a bonus thingy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here they are. And these things are page markers. They're gold. And the gold is the only one that's on here. There's only this gold set of these. And they are $6.50. Are they taped in? Oh, no. This is like that fucking... No, they're not taped in. Okay. So here's this guy. It's very firm. Okay, so here's this firm friend here. Let's let's find a page to Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Where's the book? Where's my Bonnie and Clyde book? Let's get my Bonnie and Clyde book. Give me one second. Hold, please. I'm going to go grab it from my room. Here's my Bonnie and Clyde book, because some of you have been asking me about it, so this way you can see what it is. It's called Go Down Together. <laughs> uh, it's by Jeff Gwynn. His book is awesome. I'm, like, this far into it. I've gotten past the point where they're dead. Spoiler alert. Okay. Let's see here. 
Also, I brought this from my room while I was in there. I've been making my patrons stare at this multiple times now. So if you're a patron, you've seen this already. But if not, I'm just so excited about what I'm calling my eye bra. It looks like a bra, but it's my night mask. And I, when I close my eyes, my eyelashes don't touch it. Artists do because he's got long ass eyelashes, but it blocks out the the bright ass neighbor lights that they leave on all night. So it's making me happy and I just like calling it an eyebrow. So I had to show you. Okay. Okay. Nice Lincoln. All right, here we go. The fuck dude, it's gonna rip my page. This is why I don't use bookmarks. What the fuck? Okay, this is like really firm. Come on, don't rip my book, I love this book. Oh, you've got to be, okay. No. Okay, so this so far is not my thing. Let's move to a different one. One of these other looking situations here. What is this crap? Okay, are you, are you supposed to do more than one page at a time? No, oh no. Let's, let's not do that page. If I don't want to lose my spot, that's where I was. It like barely, oh, ow. I don't want to wreck my nails. I just painted them. Well, I didn't paint them because I don't actually do that anymore. But I put on my new nail thingies. Okay, this one's all wrecked too. Nope. Okay, these are our pa these are a hard pass for me. The other ones that they have, and watch this. <gasps> Look what I did. Look what I did. <laughs> all you guys who like love your books are like, fuck you, Cindy. Um, yeah, these are not, these are not the business. I feel like the ones that they have that are magnetic, at least like they're easy to use, but these guys are like not easy to use. So I feel like these are a, a pass, a pass for me. Probably designed for planner pages cause they're thicker. Okay. Let's, let's try that out here. Let me grab my, my thick, my thick planner. All right, here we go. Oh, that's awesome. Pamela. I want one of those. You like paper clips with ribbons, Deb? Deborah? All right, here we go. Oh, yep, yeah, you're right. These go on much better onto the planner. Okay. But I would never use these on my planner, so I would never have thought about it. I would use these on actual books. This one's still, what the fuck? Okay, hold on. Nope. All right. Okay, so this one worked out really easily on the planner. This one was a pain in the ass. So I'm still going to just be like, that's a hot no for me. Hot no. Okay. Okay, so, so far I have two nopes and two fuck yeahs. Oh, this thing's already done. Good. Yay. Okay. Put my planner away. Now. The last thing from this pile that I just grabbed are round metallic push pins. And these are, they have charcoal and they have lagoon. I think are, okay, so Lakin, which ones did you get? Because I, these are, uh, these are lagoon with gold on them. They're two-tone, they're really pretty, but they're not my style. Do the charcoal ones have, what color, um, what color, Charcoal with gold, damn it. Okay. Fuck you open this. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem. Oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. That could have been so much worse. <laughs> some of them aren't even two-toned. This one isn't. Okay. It looks like some of them are and some of them aren't. I'm actually probably going to keep these because I always lose my push pins, but these are not the, they're not the ones I would have picked. The blue ones are like the, the lagoon on their own are really pretty, but I'm just not, I don't care about the ones with the gold on them, but like my current push pins were purchased at a time when I had other ideas about what I wanted in my office and they don't really match anymore. These, these are not the colors I enjoy. So these are better than that. Even with the gold, these are better than that. So these are an upgrade to what I currently have, even if they're not my favorite thing in the world. So I'm going to keep these, even if they're not my favorite. <sighs> 
And the packaging's really cute. I could totally use this for all sort. What the fuck? What is even the point? Okay, there, this is in there. And I don't know why. Okay. Um. And then... Aaron Condren should... Yeah, okay, so these things are six fifty. And again, I think these are kind of pricey, especially if you can go to Target and pick up some decorative ones for cheaper than that. For at the very least five bucks, if not a little cheaper. The packaging is super cute though, and I'll reuse it. But these I'm gonna hang on to, I think. Oh look, these also have the now I can't close it. What the fuck? What is this bull ah honky? Yeah, you do get 80 of them. Okay, that's a lot. Is that what's on here? It doesn't where does it say it? I probably took it off already. Oh, it's on the bottom. Okay, so you get 80 of them. So that's a lot of push pins. So, okay, I'll use those. And, and then look, this has got the little thingy for selling them in the store. Hee <laughs> hee. I love how all of like the stuff they're selling now has that consideration because they have a store. So I'm going to keep these guys, although I wish that they had the blush or a rose gold option. All right. It is like a little suitcase. You're right. Look at me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like how you guys all knew that was gonna happen and i was like troll -la it's not gonna happen <laughs> we won't do that again no more little suitcases for me okay let's set those to the side oh <sighs> okay See, I use binder clips all the time at my desk and I do use push pins because I keep like letters and stuff you guys send me. I put them up on my bulletin boards. So I do use those and I lose them like it's nobody's business. So I use those. I don't use this shit. <laughs> Even if they didn't, they weren't annoying. I would, wouldn't use those. Okay, what's next? Ah, speaking of which, this situation. Is this the only one? Grid memo board in gold. This is $12. And I have seen people with bigger ones of these and have thought they are so Instagram worthy. And I was never really sure. It's magnetic. Ooh, I could put it on my fridge. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is the picture on it. No. Whoa, let's not knock that over. Okay, there's too many things happening on my desk right now. Here we go. Stab, stab, stab. stab. <laughs> this is fun. This is worth it. Hell yeah. Stab it with my palette knife. Hell yeah. Stab it with my palette knife. Okay, I'll stop now. That's like bubble wrap. <laughs> tear all the shit off that I just destroyed. <laughs> Jesse is at band practice, so no, he's not home. <laughs> okay, this is very small, so I can understand. Like, the ones I've seen people use in, like, their houses on YouTube have been big old motherfucking things over by their desks, but because this thing is magnetic, I'm actually thinking that it being smaller is a good idea, because if the more you load one of these up, the heavier it's gonna get and the less likely the magnets are gonna stay holding. So like if I put this on my on my um, refrigerator and I, I had a bigger one and I loaded it up with a whole bunch of bullshit because that's what I do. I never, like my fridge now has stuff on it from like two years ago when we moved in because I never clean it off, it'll fall off. So, um, so the way you use these for people who are confused is you take the binder clips and then you take this. Now you guys are going to be highly amused. I have this notepad that right now all it says is paper. A piece of paper that says paper. How meta is that? And um, it's because I'm reorganizing some of my drawers and I had just started writing down. So what you do is you take your binder clip and you clip it. I can't do this. You clip it to the thingy and then it stays on the, it's magnetic. So it sticks to like your fridge or something. Yeah. So that's what this is for. It's like a little memo board, but you clip things to it instead of st sticking things to it with uh, with whatever. And I'm actually gonna just take these little binder clips and stick them in my binder clip holder. <laughs> yeah. So that's what this thing is. I'm gonna put try it on my fridge to use 
honestly, do you want to know what I'm going to use this for if I keep this on my fridge? You're going to laugh at me. We have, we have a uh, try full pad. Okay. It doesn't say paper though. So how are you going to know what it is? <laughs> Let's get a bigger binder clip though. I feel like this one, I'll use this puppy. I'll use a, um, this thing. Maybe this thing's not a good idea. It holds it with the bigger clip. It's not on anything, but bye Shelly. Yeah. Um, if I was going to use this, here's what I'm going to use it for. If I use it and you guys are going to judge me so hard because this is ridiculous. There is a pizza place in town called Papa Joe's. If you live in the Napa area, you know what I'm talking about. Papa Joe's is fucking amazing. And if you save your receipts, you get, you get for your 12 receipts, you get a third, like it doesn't have to be receipts. It's however many pizzas you bought. So if you bought like two or three pizzas for a party or something on one receipt, that counts as two or three pizzas. If you save your receipts, you get whatever pizza, whatever size, whatever toppings you want for free. So we save our receipts because that's where we get pizza from when we get it. And I have never had a good spot to put them. I've tried in various places and they always get all fucked up. So I think I might use this to hang on to my receipts. If I'm going to do that, this will be my Papa Joe's situation. It's like a perfect size for me for that if I'm going to use it. So I'll have to report back on this later to see if it works for saving receipts for pizza. So, ah, see, you know about Papa Joe's, Miss Thea. Yeah, so good. Do I still use the Happy Planner page for my meal planning? I'm using the Erin uh, Condren for my meal planning. The Happy Planner I'm using for the wellness planning or the wellness memory keeping, actually. Okay, moving forward. Okay, what do you got? Got some more things. Here's an actual ruler, which is like for the back to school stuff, I guess. Colorful ruler. This thing is like a weapon. Ow. <laughs> this fucking thing. That's an idea, Jenny, to use S hooks on that thing to put washi rolls on it. That is a great idea for that, that bulletin board thingy. All right, this is a thick ruler. This is a girthy ruler. This ruler is manly. I was gonna do that summer, but I wound up not, just not following through with it. This thing is like, yeah, oh, it's like acrylic. It's like, doesn't even feel like plastic. It feels like the same material that like they made this, this stapler out of or the boxes that they sell or the acrylic trays they sell, it feels like the same acrylic. Like this is fucking, it's not bendy. It's like fucking solid, solid as a rock. Like gigantic inches numbers and then miniature European numbers for, uh, for so it has both centimeters and inches, which is important because Jesse and I were hunting down a ruler that had centimeters on it the other day and we couldn't fucking find one. Every ruler we had was only inches, including the ones they include in the Aaron Condren planner. I don't know where I put it, but I have one of my Aaron Condren rulers and that didn't have centimeters. In so I might keep this purely for the centimeters, even though it does not hold a candle to the greatest ruler of all time. This ruler, my favorite ruler. This is the ruler so nice. I bought it twice. <laughs> This is my favorite. I don't even like rulers. And this is my favorite ruler. And I own two of them. So I will never betray this ruler that is my favorite. But um, but uh, okay, hold on. This is not going back in my thing. Why is not this not going back? Okay. <laughs> this ruler is from Michaels. It's in their drafting section. And I love it because it's clear and it has all the little grid on it. it makes it so much easier to like keep your lines straight. We had one of these when I was working at Trader Joe's and it kept breaking and we kept saving the smaller and smaller section of it because it was so awesome until we bought another one. So now I have two of them. But um, this ruler though is like, a, I could use this like if somebody tried to break into my house, I could kick their ass with it. This ruler, let me use my other ruler to measure this ruler. This ruler is like, whoa, more than that. Hold on. Can I read? Yeah. All right, so what is this? Eight. So this ruler is three sixteenths of an inch thick. T-H-I-C-C, -C, thick. This is like a chonky. This would be a great straight edge, actually, 
for if you're like using an X-Acto blade to cut something, because it is so thick, you'll be able to really get a nice like edge against it. Or if you wanna use this to tear paper, you could like hold this down like yay and use it. At, well, not that wasn't a good example, but you could use it for that. So, um, so this is the ruler I love. I don't know what it's fucking called, Madi. It's sold at a, it's like it's in the drafting section at Michael's. It's a graphing ruler or something like that, and it's like three bucks. Super cheap. Oh, speaking of cheap, this ruler, the thick ruler. Let's guess six fifty, since that's how much everything else costs. Let's guess where is it at? Ruler. Colorful ruler. Oh no, it's $8. Okay, I wouldn't buy this for $8, but I'm gonna save this for when my kids get back from their dad's house. Don't report me to CPS, I was just joking. It's very clear too. It's one of the other things I like about this. This is super clear. So this is, I feel like that's more of like a desk decoration for me than not, but. Yeah. All right. So. Stencils. <sighs> I am not a good person to judge stencils. I don't give a fuck about stencils. This is gonna, you know when I'm gonna use this? I'm gonna use this when I do a stencil live plan with me because I fucking hate stencils. But let's look at the usefulness. So it's got boxes that look like they're designed for the Aaron Condren, so that's cool. There's a weekend. There's like a peace sign and a thumbs up. And check boxes. It looks like it. And then these check boxes, these look like they were designed for the Aaron Condren. So, I mean, in that sense, like it's, it's a good stencil. However, like I'm not a good judge of stencils because I don't fucking like them. And I know that a lot of other people sell stencils and have been selling them for a long time that have a little bit more variety. So maybe a good introductory stencil for somebody who hasn't gone and explored like the world of Etsy shop stencils. Or if you're not going to Etsy anymore because of their new free shipping thing, then whatever somewhere else so yeah that's a stencil it's it's a stencil that's i don't know how to judge a stencil so i'm not gonna offer my opinions on something that i know i hate especially since i can't fucking put it back i'm just gonna god damn it what the fuck why won't this go in why does it have to be so hard that's what she said The ruler recounted as an accessory, so don't pay full price. Use the $15 off for a more sale. Thank you for the heads up, Julie. Uh, I can't fucking put this in. What the shit? The Etsy thing is that Etsy is now making, like saying that they're only gonna promote people in the search who, or whatever, who offer free shipping on purchases of $35 or less. But a lot of sellers feel like they're being told how to run their business, among other things. And so I have no idea who's staying on Etsy and who's going to leave Etsy. It's a whole thing, man. And I'm not an Etsy seller. Excuse me. I'm not an Etsy seller, so I don't really know exactly. I just have been, been following along. Okay. All right. This thing. Now, hexagon clips. Hexagon paper clips. What do we got? There are shaped paper clips. Diamond. There's diamond in rose gold or gold, heart in silver or gold, and hexagon, which is gold. So much fucking gold. I feel like these are the most useful out of all of those shapes, even though they're not rose gold. But I, you know what I use shaped paper clips for? I'll show you what I use shaped paper clips for. This is what I use them for. Hello, what's your name? My name is George, what's your name? My name's Erin Condren and I'm selling a stencil to you. Oh, but I don't use stencils. That's okay. You might like this one. Oh, well, I'll try. Is it, do you get 15% off if you buy four or more? Yes. Well, that doesn't matter because I'm not going to buy any more stencils. Oh, well, maybe you should. Okay. Sorry. That was bad. They're never going to send me free products ever again. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so I save these for personal amusement, apparently. <laughs> I'm drinking rosé, I swear to God. It's not full of LSD. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's try this. So these little shape, oh my God. Oh, that could poke you. That could be jabby. Jab, jab, jab. 
try these. Here's some more paper that doesn't say paper. It says, I'm working on a gallery wall. I bought one of those like gallery walls for dummies kind of situations where it's from Amazon and they send you all the frames and then they send you a paper to put up on the wall to tell you where to put them because I want Jesse to hang them. And he was more likely to hang them if I was like, here, this is exactly where you hang them as opposed to me making him figure it out. So <laughs> that worked just fine. Yeah, I mean, it went on really nicely. There's the ones I remember seeing somebody post about online are the ones that look like they're cacti, but when you look at them, they look like wieners. I wish I had some of those. Me too. So, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these if I'm gonna keep them or not. Shaped paper clips have never been something I use very often. Like I said, I actually use the shit out of binder clips. I don't use regular paper clips very often, and I certainly don't use shaped ones very often. Do they have any silver paper clips? Like regular silver paper clips? No. Of these shaped ones, the heart ones are silver. I can't put this back on. Dog bone clips that look like wieners? No, there is silver. There's silver heart ones. It says it on the list, Lakin. I'm looking. God damn it. Why won't this go back in? Yeah, I would like the diamond rose gold ones like for fucking Instagram staging, but I probably wouldn't use them. I'm apparently not adept with with shaped paper clips, if you can't tell. Silver hearts is what they have. Silver hearts, according to the list. Those are not what I have, though. All right. Okay, so these guys, I'm not sure what I'm doing with these yet. I love binder clips, though. I am a sucker for binder clips. They work, especially smaller ones, because they work really well both for like holding things of paper together, like when I'm doing freelance work, or, God damn it, when I'm doing freelance work or something, but then they also work really well for holding like bags of chips or vegetables together. So they're like two products in one. I use my binder clips, both, and my pretty ones, my nice ones, my beautiful desk ones. I use them all for holding a bag of chips together because I have priorities. I use my binder clips all over the damn house. I will use them to hold onto. I use them when it's time to like, you know, pinch somebody's nipples when it's in the bedroom. We use binder. I don't actually do that. Not that I, we're not going to talk about that right now, but they are very versatile. <laughs> mm. All right. Stickers. These are out of this world sticker pack. Where's the price? <laughs> okay <laughs> um the fuck is it sticker sheet trio out of this world sticker pack 750 <laughs> they do look like they match the kids planner theme which i haven't taken a look at because honestly i wasn't gonna order one to review when like my kids are way too old for that shit. Like they wouldn't use it. They would be looking at me like, what the fuck are you trying to do to me, mom? Cause they're teenagers. They're assholes. Katie really liked the academic planner last year, but it was too big for what she needed for what Katie needed. Like there was, um, Katie has in this classrooms, they have small desks, like very like narrow, like kind of college student desks. And they don't have a lot of time to write down homework assignments after class. So having the big planner was really awkward for Katie to try and get it out and write homework assignments in, even though Katie really liked using it at home. So we're trying to figure something else out for this year. Isn't it dated this year, Julie? It wasn't dated last year. Anyway, okay. So these are the stickers. They're all matte. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna start from here. Okay, what do you got? These ones I like. I mean, these are super cute. I would love if they actually, let's wait, hold on. Let's, let's. Let's give it the Erin Condren sticker test. Okay, there's one. Let's grab another one. Let's grab, let's grab. Yes, because I would never use that in my planner. Okay. I'm gonna leave those there for a second and see if they start peeling up again because Aaron Condren stickers have a bad track record. I always wind up buying them. They're like the thing I always go back to because I always love the patterns and the designs, but I hate how shitty they are stickers. So I get really upset with them, but then I keep buying them because I like the patterns. So it's like a vicious cycle. All right. Um, these are really cute. And I'm telling you, if they stuck, 
I would love like just a sheet of these like holographic foil pens and pencils. I would use the fuck out of those. Not gonna lie. I would use the ever living fuck out of the holographic pens and pencils if they stuck. This one is cute. <laughs> you can't touch this for a cactus. But I don't use quote stickers very often. And and I wouldn't, most of these I would not use in like the woven, the, the woven wheat, the shredded wheat pattern. I'm not here for that. But I love the holographic foil and I would want more stickers in this. Like I would take hella stickers. You guys remember when they did the uh, summer seasonal surprise box and it had that one holographic foil cover and then they had the set of holographic foil stickers. I used the shit out of that and I would buy so many of those if they had those. I don't care if they stick or not. I would use the shit out of the holographic foil stickers, but not these ones. Um, <laughs> these are designed for children. <laughs> this is not my thing. I'm gonna use these in a live plan with me. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a universe on my planner. But I feel like these are meant for children for back to school. So I feel like laughing at these is mean because I'm not their intended audience. I feel like these are this intended audience is for people like the age of my niece who's like six. So I would give these to her if I was a nice auntie, but I'm not. I'm gonna use these to entertain people on the internet. I'm gonna make singing a Star Trek theme, yes. All of the Star Trek themes, because I have a Trekkie, so I know them all. Yes, I'm going to do that. But honestly, I feel like these would be fantastic for like an eight or nine year old. I'm not an eight or nine year old, even though I have like the sense of humor of one. But yeah, these and they're I love the holographic foil. And I wish there was more. If Aaron Condren, if you watch this, people at Aaron Condren, if you watch this and you're hating me for my my shape, make sure you listen this far to hear me say, make more holographic foil stickers in things that are not this, because I would buy the shit out of them and I would use them. Checking in on these, they're still sticking. So yay, yay for that. But holographic everything. Can I do a next generation theme? Yes, and I'll use these for it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that at some point. Not in, eight, not in August, because I promised in August we'd do a wheel of fuckery, but this will be maybe September. Yeah. Oh, Raquel Eby. I buy all sorts of shit because I think they're cute. I just, this is not, 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 no. But they, I'm going to save those. I'm going to use those. I'm just saying. Okay. Moving, moving forward. I'm going to get some, uh, some more wine because I need it. I know who Simply Nail Logical is, but I've never really watched any of her videos. This is the end of that bottle of wine. Jesse and I actually had some of it yesterday at a barbecue. So just gonna drink a little bit more and then I'm gonna, one glass. So this is, a, this is a half a glass. So it's one and a half glasses and that's all I'm having. All right, here we go. It's called Peak Neek. It's from Naked Wines, my husband's company. All right, we have three things left and they're all big. The first one, is this situation, which I feel like they've had before and this is just a different design. I feel like I have this in a different design. I could, do I? I don't know if I do, it's somewhere. Schedule pad. This design is called Retro Stripes. She gives away scholarships, that's fucking awesome. I will check her out. So this is 9.75 inches by 10 inches and there are 52 pages. So it's a year's worth of weeks. The pages feel a little thinner than the note pages. The notes paper feels like a couple of steps up than this. It's still not like thin, but it feels like, this feels like awesomeness and this feels like, okay. So 
What do I do with a schedule plan if I have a planner? The times I've used one like this has been for weeks where I don't want to fucking touch my planner, but I want something that's more a little more organized. It has the weekend on one day, which you guys know how I feel about that. But the nice part about this is that you have the week section and then the list section is perforated. There's been other times I've used this for like making my weekly meal plan and then making my shopping list while I'm making my weekly meal plan. And then all I have to take with me is the list pad. I feel like that is probably the most practical way to use something like this because it has the perforation and this is like a perfect size for that. Pre-planning would be a good way. I usually just use these for my pre-planning, but that makes sense also. But I feel like for this could be a really excellent meal planner because then you've got your grocery list right here. Yeah. I could use the wheel of fuckery on this, Deborah. That would be fun. Oh, I could wheel the fuckery off all of these things. Holy shit. This actually might also be a good thing. You know what I'm thinking? If I tore one of these pages off and tore off this section and just gave Katie this, Katie could use this to write homework on one single sheet at a time and then bring it home and transfer it into whatever thing Katie's using. That could work too because that's small enough. It might get lost in translation, but that's an idea. Is the paper color the same as the Erin Condon? That's a good question. See, this is why I like doing these things live because you guys are smarter than me. Let's see. Yeah, the Erin Condren looks like it's a little bit whiter. This looks like it's a little bit grayer almost. And the Erin Condren paper is thicker. The Erin Condren paper feels a lot more similar to the note paper than this does. This is a softer, like, this is softer. It doesn't have that, like, porous feeling, and it's less thick. Oh, they sell, oh, that's a good, I think I have one of those, too. I have so much shit. Anyway, um, so, yeah, so this is interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about the pattern. It's cute, but it's not me. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I also might give this to my sister who might give make some good use of it. Oh, let's look at the back. So the back is just hard. This is cute. This, okay, you know what this is making me think of, even though I know it's not exactly correct. Even though this pattern is not my favorite thing, this makes me think of music. Like looking at it this way, this makes me think of sheet music. I don't know why. Even though it's not the same amount of lines, just having this color scheme and then these like lines right here is making me think of sheet music. Doesn't that look like... Like, for those of you who are musicians, doesn't that just have, like, the vibe of sheet music for you? That's what it's making me think of. I actually think I would buy a sticker pattern in this just for that sheet music vibe. Maybe for band camp or something. Like a stack. Yes, thank you. Because Okay, let's do a pen test. Here we go. Uh, we got a fine liner. We got a Tombow. We got a... Fuck it. Let's like have a ballpoint pen. Let's let the ballpoint pens have some, some play. We'll have a gel pen and then we're going to grab an Aaron Condren pen because those pens tend to be bleedy as fuck. Which are we going to grab? We're going to grab this blue motherfucker right here. This color is cerulean. All right. We got some things. We got them all. We got pens, pens for days. All right, here we go. Ballpoint, we're gonna write balls. Fine point, we're gonna write thick. Gel pen, we're gonna write length. I spelled that right, maybe. Tombow, we're going to write, hell yeah. And then for Aaron Condren pen, we're going to write, tip and teep. Okay, there we go. Hey, it tears off. Okay, here we go. Looking at this. Let's zoom you in. Hee hee. Okay, so... The Erin Condren Thick Tip, both Erin Condren's shadow more, these probably shadow the most besides the Tombow. The other three don't shadow, but the gel and the, the ballpoint both leave really hardcore ridges. I would say out of all of these, my Pilot Fineliner 
is the best pen for this because it doesn't leave that like ridge and it doesn't really shadow all that much. Although it does shadow a little bit. Not that it matters too much because it's one-sided, but none of them bled through. So that's nice. I like the idea of using this as a mouse pad actually because I kind of need a mouse pad. Ooh, this might make a sensual mouse pad. This might be, a, that might be an idea, my dudes. Although I don't like this pattern as much. So I might want to look for the one I have because I feel like the one I have is like some kind of blush and gold situation. Although I could be wrong about that. But I feel like I have another one like this somewhere. Sharpie bleed. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll, I'm sure Sharpie's going to bleed on this paper, but we'll, we'll go for it. We'll grab, we'll grab a Sharpie skirple. Yeah, see, there you go. It bleeds through. How, how things tend to go with Sharpies. It's just the life that they live. Oh, here, we'll do a mild liner brush pen too, because I've got them close at hand. Those bleed through a little bit too. They're pretty inky. I don't mind shadowing. You're right. Like that's still, whoops. I just knocked something off my desk and I don't even know what it was. Sharpie pens. I don't like them. I think that they're too faded for my taste. I think they're nice pens, but the colors just aren't my thing. I've used Sharpie pens before. I'm just not a fan. Not for any reason other than that the colors just don't like tweak my nipples. Um, the, uh, Rose Gold Petals is the other design. Yeah, I think I have that one. That's the one I think I have. Okay. We have two more things left. And speaking of this pattern, that's the pattern they sent me in the desk organizer, which makes me a little bit sad because this is not the pattern I would have picked. So I may give this away if I decide I like this. This is the desk organizer set and it comes with painted petals, kaleidoscope, colorful, and retro stripes. Now the bummer is that there's not kaleidoscope neutral, which would be the color I would pick. However, actually I probably wouldn't pick any of these because I don't like any of those patterns with colorful. I'd want them neutral. So I may not get this at all, but we'll look at the, we'll look at the, the quality of this, just like in the Lord of the Rings when Boromir says he's going to show his quality. Stab, 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 stab. Whoops. Oh, I stabbed it. Shit. Stab. Okay. It's not pastel, Aiken. It's neutral. Fuck you. It's my channel. I can say what I want. All right. You got the colorful color. It does look like sheet music. I actually might give this to Katie. If Katie thinks this looks like sheet music, Katie would get down with this shit. So maybe. Maybe not. Katie might look at me and be like, Mom, I thought you knew me. It's not pastel. It's neutral. Okay. Here we go. Set of four desktop. <laughs> Set of four desktop organizer set of four desktop organizer set of four desktop organizers organizer set of four desktop organizer <laughs> okay Right spooge for one. Yes. Okay, I will. Monchelle, hold on. Includes pen holder, letter sorter, magazine tray, and magazine file. Hey, and look, a handy guide as to which one is which. That's good to know. Hold on. Doing Monchelle a favor because Monchelle's a patron and I do what I, my patrons ask, except tell Lakin that they, it is, uh, it's not, it's not um, pastel, it's, it's neutral. And I'm going to grab a really juicy, I'm going to grab a Uniball Vision Elite gel pen. Spooge. How does that one look? There's that one. Spooch. Okay. Okay. The whole unit and not the parts. Unit. Okay. So this is very Ikea in the way this fits together. Look at this packaging. So you slide it out as one and then all of this bit and then there's this bit. Okay. Now all of these are like cardboard of some sort. These are all extras. I could cover these in paper and make brush holders of these. I could be fucking crafty. I've been on Pinterest. I know how to do shit. I could cover this up too and put this in my desk as a desk organizer. I could be fucking crafty if I wanted to be. I could be goddamn crafty. Okay. Anyway, let's look at these. We'll look at this small one first because I don't have room on my desk for all this shit. Okay. So... 
I did not get the peep teeth planner. Okay, like, and I'm glad to know you know that. Okay, so this thing, it's like, it's like a uh, chipboard covered in like a gloss, not glossy, but it's got like a coat on it, paper. So this is the pencil cup. Does this come out? Oh, so you could do it like yay or like schmall or yeah. So you could make it divided or not if you wanted to. And then this thing is supposed to hold, wait, what did they say this was? This is a pen holder and this is a letter sorter. Do I have any letters? I might have letters. Do I have any mail on my desk I haven't answered? Ooh, nutrition information from the transplant center. Yeah, I haven't looked at that yet. That goes there. Oh, I got some stuff from people in my post office box. I can show you that and I'll put that in there. So I got... I got two things from my P.O. box the other day and they're both fucking awesome. So let me show you those things and then we'll put them in here. So we've got this card from Sarah Cotton says, you open the cage to my heart, which is amazing. And then she sent me a really sweet note and music munchkins that she got in like a mixed pack because she thought of me because I used those. So Nicholas Cage can go right here. And then I got some, and the stamp on the letter she sent me is scratch and sniff. And it does actually smell. And then, um, and then Jess McCutcheon sent me, um, Beautiful bubble lettering with some grease spots for my counter because my counter is wood. And this piece of art that she found at a farmer's market or something. It's an eggplant with legs. It's like carved from wood. This thing is amazing. And I'm going to put it in RJ's room where he doesn't know it is so it can scare the shit out of him in the morning. So I'm going to scare RJ with this thing. But Jess sent me this and it's, it's awesome. <laughs> and I love it. And anyway, so that goes in here. So the letters go in here, but you're right. It is already bent right here. So these are, the cost of these are my soul. Where the fuck is that paper? I got plastic fucking everywhere. What is this bullshit? This set is, um, <sighs> 26 bucks. It's not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be in like the 40 to 50 range, not because I thought it was like how much you should pay for it, but because Aaron Condren stuff tends to be marked up. 26 bucks is, again, it's not super cheap, but you'd pay that much for like a plastic, um, like a nice plastic magazine file and like one other thing from Office Depot. So honestly, I'm surprised that it's 26 bucks, honestly. So... Anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so this is the letter organizer. Then this, it is overpriced for chipboard though. You are absolutely right. And then this is a magazine tray. No, yes. Who puts magazines in a tray? Like I could put paper in a tray, but like, <laughs> do the EC stickers fit in here? That's a good question. Let's see. Yes, actually, that would be a use for this because I never know where to fuck to put these things. That the EC stickers do fit in here, so that's good to know. What about the note pages? No, not so much. All right. Anyway, the tray in your pantry—that's a good idea for what? What would you put in it? Okay, so this thing—I don't know if I—I I mean, I don't think I would buy one of these even if it was cheap or even if it was plastic. Like this, this thing, I don't know what how I'd use this. I don't have room on my desk for something like this. I do use the shit out of these things, and normally I buy the cheap ones from IKEA and like just cover them in paper. And this one is better quality than the cheap IKEA ones, but and it's got the gold hardware on the side, and this one does as well. These both have like the gold hardware on the sides for you to, but it doesn't come with any like little papers or anything to put in here to label them. Yeah, a college student I think would find this very useful because it's all in one, but I feel like if you've already been buying like things for your desk, then this, I don't think, okay, maybe this is a better way to put this. I feel like these things are great for students and people who are outfitting their desks and doing it, wanting to get a whole bunch of stuff as quick as possible. I feel like this would make an awesome addition for like a college student or for like giving, I like, think I'm gonna offer these to my high schooler and see what they say. But I feel like for somebody who already spends money on like acrylic desk items like this stuff, 
that this is not this is not the quality of stuff I would want. So yeah, exactly, Monchelle. If you're a hardcore <laughs> stationary lover, you might you probably have most of these. Yeah. So I feel like no, the tray doesn't fit the other, well, the tray could fit the other containers, but the tray actually fits inside of the magazine holder. So, yeah, that makes sense. For this being a school release, I could see this being really useful for, like, a high schooler or a middle schooler or even a college student. So, not something I would use and not really a price point I would pay for that, but I could imagine, like, as a gift or for something for some, like you might want to give a college student that as like something to outfit their desk, but you want to spend, you want to buy something that you wouldn't feel bad if they jacked it up so that you're not investing in like really nice desk pieces until they have like their own job and their own apartment, you know? Yes, Monchelle, freshman and college gift set. Exactly. That's uh, kind of what that feels like. And now the final thing in this box Something I know I like because I've had this before. This is not going to be anything new. And I am so excited they sent this because I love this. And we're just going to go through this and have foil orgasms because that's the life I like to live. My favorite, one of my favorite items I've ever gotten from Erin Condren, even though all I do is put it on my wall and look at it all year, is the metallic monthly desk pad. Schwing! Eggplant. Okay. I don't really because I put it on the wall, but I love looking at it. Hold on, I'm opening it up. Oh, oh shit. Okay, hold on. Here we go. I think it comes with stickers. It has the plastic things in the bottom. I remember I broke one of those off like about halfway through the year last year with my other desk pad, which is fine. Now, I was about to judge this for showing up mid-July because I got another planner that's gonna be reviewed on the channel in like the next week or so that starts in July and I didn't get it until mid-June or July. Wait, okay. Another planner I got to review, not Erin Condren. I, and they didn't send it to me. I ordered it, and I ordered it in, ju in June, but it didn't show up until July because they had some problems, which I understand. But it's a July through December planner, and getting it mid-month of the month it's supposed to start feels like you're wasting a chunk of the planner. So I was about to judge this for starting in July and not releasing till mid-July. But it starts in August, so I can't judge it for that. Okay. Here we go. Ready for some foil orgasms? How did I mount this on the wall? I used um, command strips, but I didn't actually put them on any hooks or anything. I just stuck them on the back of the calendar and stuck them on the wall, and it came off the wall just fine. I used command strips. So um, I don't think it gives you... It's meant to be a desk pad, so I don't think it's meant to be on the wall. It's meant to be on your desk, but I don't use desk pads, so um, I put it on the wall, and I used command strips. This puppy is 30 bucks. Here we go. Foil orgasms. I love this thing. I think it's gorgeous. I never, and like I said, I don't even write on it for the most part. I just look at it, which is ridiculous, but I love the fucking foil. And it's got these plastic things down in the corner to hold the pages in place. And like I said, I broke those. So here we go. So we have gold foil for August. Ooh, ah, oh. purple. And this is where I'm like, why can't you fucking make all the stickers in the world in all these foil colors? I felt this way when they put the petite planners out and they all had all the gorgeous foil. I didn't even want the fucking planners. I just wanted the foil. Make me foiled things in many colors. Joseph and the amazing Technicolor foil dream coat. That's what I want. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Purple. Ooh, get this in the light. Yeah, there we go. Look at that sexy sexiness. Orange. I don't even like orange, and this is beautiful. Jody's color. Look at the orange. I do have that one, Lincoln, but I want more. More than that. That feels like it's just a little bit. Okay, and this is really thick. This is thick like the notepad. Like, this is thick motherfucker this is thicker than the notepad this is almost cardstock this is some thick 
bullshit right here. So you will love this. Why is October orange? Because it's Halloween, my dude. This color. Look at this. <gasps> Sexual healing. Imagine the neutral color layout with this color foil. Just imagine for a moment. Imagine. Yes, I'm molesting the desk planner. Yes, don't judge me. Look. Jewish holidays. I don't know what Jewish holidays. Let me look. Uh, Yom Kippur is in here. Rosh Hashanah. Columbus Day. Uh, Halloween. International Day of Peace. Patriot Day. Grandparents Day. Autumn begins. Labor Day. They're American holidays. Okay. All right. So October. Ooh. November is the color. The color of gorgeousness. And then December is green foil. Could I just get my dollar bills foiled in green? Oh my God. No, I don't think they're all in there, Deborah. I think um, we got, there was Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah. And then here is Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Christmas and New Year's. And then this color is like sexy, sexual healing right here. No, it's not even an obnoxious green. I love this green. Like this, green's my favorite color. Some of you don't know that, but green is actually my, and notice the days are also foiled. Like the, these, these boxes are also foiled. It's the, the name and the year and then the dates here and then the lines. The lines are also foiled. Look at that. Oh, 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 okay. January is a beautiful color. I'm sorry. I love this color. Oh, look at the pink foil. This looks like what would happen. Beck, did you get to see the purple? I'll show you the purple. Foil, pink, beautiful, beautiful. And then... Bye, Donna. Fuchsia. Thank you, Deb. Deborah, that's a great color. Here's green. Is this the same green as December? Or is this a different green than December? I think they're the same green. March is the same green as December. Like a minty green, which is so pretty. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Is it more mint? I can't tell. Like, I've got my lights. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, this is just slightly darker than this. This is like a lighter green. And this, but this one is so like not looking at them. Yeah, this one is darker if you look at them when the light's not on them. All right, here we go. Silver with the purple next to it. Silver, this is Lakin's month. Okay. And then May, it's like a peach foil. Ooh, peach as fuck. And then June is like a bright green foil. Like this is like Kelly green. My goodness, that is a greeny green. <sighs> is there a difference between peach foil and rose gold? Yes. It's more orange. And then <laughs> August is gold again. And then you get back through the same colors, the purple, the orange, the blue, the like light blue and the green. And then there's stickers in the back. And the stickers are all silver foil, all of them, all silver foil. At least they're not gold. Um, I think we've learned in this stream that gold is not my favorite. Uh, and they're all silver foil. You get a lot of them. You get lots of happy birthdays, celebrate to do's and reminders. There's like, these are meant to go with this planner. Lots of these things, bills due to do. There needs to be more bills due stickers. Oh wait, there's more. Wait, bills due, bills due, bills due bills due. So there's 12 bills due, which is still only like 12 months worth of one bill a month. So there needs to be like a whole fucking, because reality is how many goddamn bills we all have. Point being, there's two to-dos, holidays, appointments, take note, love it. I would get rid of the love it and probably the to-dos or the take notes. You could use both of those for one thing and give them more to do and give each one of those another set of bills due if I could. Round things, 
event looking stickers, these boxes, then all the birthdays and shit. And then there's like asterisks, exclamation points, arrows, dollar signs, envelopes, hearts, stars, and recycling. I'm glad even with all of the packaging here that this is earth friendly. And then <laughs> these boxes and then there's some checklists and shit. So yeah, lots of stickers. I think I actually took the stickers from my old desk calendar and cut them up and stuck them in my planner because I wanted to use them even though I never remember to and I didn't want to get rid of them. You would buy it and gyrate the paper and sing me too. You just get one of these and you pick it up and even if you're lonely, even if you don't have a significant other, or even if your significant other is busy playing World of Warcraft, not that I know what that's like, you can have a desk calendar that will fulfill all of your sensual fantasies. <laughs> what are the dimensions? That's a good question. 19.25 inches by 12.25 inches. Those are the dimensions. Here's the example on the picture, by the way, if you guys wanna take a look. Let's find out what's happening on the example. Let's find out what this person is doing. I want to know about this person's life. That's a good idea, Ms. Thea. She said you can put one bill due sticker on the sidebar and then write all the bills underneath. That would be both economical with your stickers and depressing when you write all your bills down. Okay, here we go. Let's find out what this person is doing. Happy New Year, winter break, school starts, Mary's birthday, dinner at 7 o'clock, soccer game versus South, bring snacks. I'm glad that they're bringing snacks. I hope they're for the whole team. Brunch at 10.30 on Sunday. I guess they're not going to church sipping my tea as I just gave a sermon today because I'm all holy, even though I'm not because it was a UU sermon about lying, but it'll be on the podcast in a couple weeks. So tune in. Hashtag the uncurated life. Moving forward. <laughs> Reminder, Jack's dentist appointment at 8.30. 8.30 a.m. or 8.30 p.m.? Speaking of which, none of these have a.m.s or p.m.s. This person could show up for brunch at 10.30 at night and wonder where the fuck everybody is. This person needs to be a little bit more clear with their times. Sixth grade field trip, soccer game versus the Cubs. So what the fuck are these different teams? South, the Cubs, and HVS. Those are all three very different team names. Like they aren't in like, wouldn't you be playing at South and North and East and West or the Cubs and the Bruins and the Bears or HVS and MWP? I just don't know. I don't know what's happening. They're going to book club at seven o'clock. There's no school on Martin Luther King Day. Ooh, a fundraiser and comedy club at 7 p.m. They remembered on that day. And hold on, they forgot the most important to do. Hold on, we're gonna make this fabulous here. I'm gonna go. Hold on. This doesn't fit because this is slightly smaller than the desk calendar, so we're gonna have to go down here. Happy birthday, Cindy turns 40. Yep, that's my birthday and I'm turning 40 in 2020. Just thought you all should know that. Okay, and then what do you, what to do? What do they have to do? Field trip permission slip, card or gift for Mary's birthday. That's good. Schedule Barkley's checkup. Their dog's name is Barkley, like on Sesame Street. And they doodled. Snacks for the game on this day. But the game is on the 12th, is on the 11th, not the 12th. You, my dude, need to like get your calendar under control because your snacks on this checklist are for the wrong day. Schedule Jack's doctor's appointment for February. Babysitter, well see, that's lucky that you only need to schedule a month in advance. For my fucking pediatrician, we gotta schedule six months in advance or we're not getting a goddamn appointment. Babysitter for the 30th, what are you doing on the 30th? We have to make something up here. So let's make something up. Let's, we're going to make something up. This is going to be sexy times. That's why they need a visitor or a, a babysitter. And it's going to be at eight, but we're not going to know what time it's going to be at. And we're going to draw an eggplant here to make it an official. There we go. Sexy times. Okay. Anyway. Um, and then thank you cards. I'm assuming for Christmas, but maybe not. Maybe they don't celebrate Christmas. Maybe I'm making assumptions and those assumptions are not accurate. <sighs> okay. 
Anyways, that's why. I... It looks like a bulbous baby bottle. Maybe it is, Deborah. Maybe it is. That is the day before my birthday. It's not my sexy times. I was born in 1980, yes. I'm sorry if you're bummed. On the bright side, for some people, I was born the year that their parents were born and now they're in high school. So like, wait, that make maybe they're making snacks for brunch? But it says game. What game are they playing at brunch? Are they playing Cards Against Humanity? Because I'd be fucking there for that. <laughs> yeah. I'm done with my wine. All right. So that is everything in this box of things. So let's, let's go for a recap. First of all, yes, I'm going to be redoing my office. So I'll figure out where this is going to go. At least redoing some of my office and I'll do an office tour because I have my surgery got rescheduled. I have some time this week. So I think I'm going to do some changes and maybe I'll show them to you guys live at some point once I'm done. I'm going to burp. Oh, maybe thank you cards for all the babysitters you use for sexy time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So this is sexual healing. This is 30 bucks and I've paid this before. I bought this calendar the last time it was out and I would pay it again just because of the foil. Like I swear to God, this is sensual. This is, this is one of those things that I certainly don't need, but I want and it makes me really happy. And it's one of those, like, I would, I don't want to say this out loud because I could jinx it. I would pay more money for this purely for the happiness of it. I'm not even joking. There are other things where I'm like, ew, I wouldn't pay $6 for paper clips or whatever. Oh, not worth it. But yeah, I'll pay all my money for a desk pad I'm not even going to ride on because I love it. So this just shows you how my priorities are fucking whack. So, um, but yes. So the foiled boxer shorts, there we go. Can we see the stickers again? Absolutely. So the stickers that I am not going to use without, I'm going to use them, but it's going to be during the live plan with me. Here are the stickers. We have, we have the regular ones, which I actually really like this sheet. And then we have the, the quotes sheet, which I, it's not my thing. And then we have the planets, which I think is the, is glorious. This is, this is majestic. This is, these are going to decorate my planner. These are going to decorate the fuck out of my planner. I'm just telling you right now. These these are going to these are going to go where no man has gone before in my planner. So, I'm using these stickers. They did not come with the desk pad. No, these were a separate set. These are the um out of this world sticker pack. Um Let's see what else do we got here. Uh I just threw a bunch of shit everywhere. I don't know where any of it is. Okay, this thing, I think I'm going to offer this and actually these guys all to my teenager for their desk. Uh, if this came in the neutral kaleidoscope pattern, I might be willing to buy it even though the quality is not as good as I would want it to be. But I love the neutral kaleidoscope pattern so much that I would be willing to buy a fucking magazine tray that I don't know what I would use, which tells you that I'm also not immune to buying things just because I think they're pretty. But none of the patterns that they have for these like make me happy. They're not my favorite patterns, so I probably won't use them. But I'm going to offer this to my high schooler because even if she jacks them up, I'm not going to feel too bad about it. So, um, yeah. So that and probably the desk pad, too. I think Katie might actually get some use out of this if I can find my other desk pad. Because if I can find my other desk pad with the rose gold petals, I might try that for a mouse pad. I think that was a fantastic suggestion. And I may use that for a mouse pad, but probably not this one because this literally matches nothing on my desk. So I would use it if it was a different pattern, but it's not. But I think I have one. I did not get any of the petite planners. No. They. Sorry, Beck. I know I fucked up. Um... Okay, the, uh, oh, what's next? The, these things I'm keeping, the, the, the handy suitcase, I'm not going to use as a suitcase, just because I could always use more push pins, and these are cuter than what I've already got. This thing is awesome, and I am excited to use this 20-minute timer. I think this is fantastic. I am so afraid I'm going to break it. Can you get another pattern on the desk pad on this one? There was, there's another one that has rose gold petals that I already have from like a previous launch a couple years ago, but the other desk pad with the metallic, they've got different kinds of desk pads, but not like that. 
Um, I'm curious about it too, but I don't have it. Um, and then, uh, what else? This thing, I think this thing is great. This little holder with the binder clips. I'm going to keep that on my desk. This thing I think I'm going to use for paint brushes, but I'm not sure yet. I also like the fact that it's plastic. So if any water gets on it, it's not going to get all jacked up as if it was like the pen holder in the other thing, which is cardboard. I would never use that for brushes because my brushes are often moist when I'm done washing them. And I would not want to use something made out of chipboard and paper to hold my brushes because it would totally disintegrate. Um, let's see what else. Huh. Nope. 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 And nope. These will probably be added to a giveaway. This I'll probably save for a live plan with me. And these I'm, I'm not sure about yet. But yeah, these are not. I feel like other ones of these, the rose gold ones or whatever, I might have been more excited about. But I'm just not into these ones. So um, is that everything? That might have been everything. Did I forget anything? I might have not forgotten anything. If I don't break the hourglass Loki, well, he doesn't really get on my desk, though. Knock on wood. Knock on Ikea Velveeta wood. Um, moist. What do I use for a water cup when I paint? That is a good question. I use these like mason jars. They're all gross. You can see like, I don't know if you can see very well, but like they have like all sorts of like scum on them. Like there's like a clear line of demarcation where the water usually lives. That's all like discolored here. Cause I've used these over and over, but yeah, I've used these for just a long ass time. I like them to be clear because then I can see the water and I can see how dirty it's getting. If they're in like a mug or something, then I can't see the water and I might accidentally use the dirty one when I want to use the clean one. It's happened. So having clear vessels for my water is very important to me. Any other questions while I'm on here? I'm so warm. Oh my God. Whew. Do I have any wine left? I have no more wines. No more. 17th is launch day, yes. I like doing lives for this kind of thing. You know, it's like I can give you my honest opinions. You guys can ask me questions that I might not have thought of. When I make a video ahead of time, it doesn't always like cover things. And you guys ask me questions in the comments and I got to figure that shit out. And so I figured, why not? And also I'd already recorded all my videos for this week already because I thought I was having surgery. So 30 bucks for the desk calendar. What else is launching on my list? The different patterns of all these things and then there's like a journal like a petite journal of some sort that's coming out that's not on my list but it's on the exclusive situation that came in the mail if you're an insider ah! hold on let me look uh the hourglass trio oh those rose gold palms are really cute pushpins i want those and then there's a petite planner self-care journal and a kaleidoscope magnet set those are the things that are in the back to school situation that popped up in the email but i didn't get any of those so did i finish the book yes mostly like it's done but i have to send everything off so i may have revisions and there's one thing i was questioning if i had to do or not so i may have to do that still but yeah pretty much it's done oh and the ruler yes the ruler the ruler the ruler, I want to keep it because it's so girthy. It's not the greatest ruler in the world. I've already shown you guys the greatest ruler in the world, but this is a really nice quality ruler. Like this is like a, and it's also the corners are really sharp. So you could hurt somebody with this. This is a good, like it's a dual purpose item. You know how like Alton Brown says, never buy an appliance that's only used for one thing. Well, this is used for measuring, but it can also be used for a straight edge and it can be used to take out any motherfuckers who break into your house. So there you go. It's a three purpose ruler. And you could also use this to threaten your children, but not actually hit them with it because that's not nice. Will I be doing any more book clubs? Yes, but probably not for another month or so at least. When is my surgery? It's on the 23rd. Kristen gets the little moderator badge because she handled all the porno that came into my last live plan with me. It was pretty awesome. Um, 
How much is the ruler? The ruler, I think it's eight bucks, question mark? Yeah, it's eight bucks. And like, honestly, as <laughs> it's pricey, but this thing, if you guys were like looking at the desk things and thinking, ah, oh, they're paper, I don't wanna pay that much money. This thing is like fucking hardcore acrylic. Like this thing did not stint on its, its materials. Why is there a little bug in here? What the fuck? Here, wait, wait, I'm gonna kill it. Yeah! It also works to kill little fruit flies. Hell yeah. I just squished it on Nicolas Cage. Whoops. The markings are... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteenths for the inches. And then... Millimeters. There's centimeters and then it's down to millimeters. So it's tenths for the centimeters and sixteenths for the inches. See, questions I would never have thought to answer. Thanks, Kristen. Well, the numbers run off. Run off what? Run off where? With their lover? Fifty Shades, what is it, that song, The Fifty Ways to Leave Your Lover? Rub off. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> they're on the back, so they might rub off, but the side you're going to be using, they're not printed on. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, they're not printed on this side, so the side that they're printed on is going to be the one you're not touching. So even though it's gonna to be touching the paper, it's not gonna be making contact with the oils of your hand. So I would imagine they have much less of a chance of rubbing off faster this way than they would if they were printed on top of the ruler. That's my guess. You used an alcohol wipe on an Emily Lay and the gold cord coating came off? I don't think I have an alcohol wipe. I've got a baby wipe. Ow. This is an S&M kind of... Got you guys, think about the S&M possibilities of this haul. I'm going to get demonetized. Think about this. You have this hard ruler. Like, look at that. And then you've got all of these clips that you got that can be utilized in ways, like all of these like little clips that can be just clipped onto things. And then what else do we have here? We have the calendar that gets the motors going in the first place. And then like you have this thing, which you can pretend like they're in jail, like put this in front of their face and be like, have you been a naughty boy? Yes, I've been a naughty boy and I'm in jail. Why don't you push me up against the jail bars? And you'll be like, maybe I will. And then you can like poke him with some cacti. And then... <laughs> so you're not getting said to anything else. Thank you for your video. <laughs> and then you have an hourglass. Yeah, you have 20 minutes to keep those clips on. 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome, everybody. You're welcome, Erin Condor. And I just sold all your products to a completely new audience. This guy's having fun over here too. <laughs> What's the safe word? Succulents. Yeah, everybody, you better like this video. I already have six dislikes. Oh, the little people clips. Hold on. They're coming back for, a, for oh, there's a squirrel too. Yes. I didn't even know I had that. Okay, hold on. Here we go. We're going to end this with a puppet show. Here we go. Did you find the binder clips? Yes, I did. I thought they were beautiful and I'm blushing. Why? Because look, oh, they hurt. Squirrel, nope, I'm not into bestiality. Oh, 
I think you're gonna be demonetized, Cindy. Well, it's okay. It's okay because I have the love of the people and the binder clips. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> Does my, and here comes Holly with like an actual question. Um, does my angled palette knife have a number on the handle or I don't know, maybe, question mark? It's all worn out. I've had this for literal years. So it's just, an, it's just, I, I don't know. It's not one of the big ones. It's like a small one. Like if you were gonna look at the size of it, if you're gonna measure it with a handy new ruler, the angled parts like, like two and a half inches. Sorry, that's centimeters, two and a half centimeters or one inch. <sighs> yes. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I have to send the link for this to someone from EC, so hopefully they don't watch to the end. <laughs> God damn it, my whole channel's gonna get demonetized. Uh, <laughs> Lincoln's gonna be like, fuck yeah, I get to watch the aftermath and none of it's gonna hit me. <laughs> Do I have any other shapes of paper clips? Let's see, hold on. We're gonna see if this is gonna become a new segment on my channel. Give me a second, I know where some more are. We're gonna go through my paper clip collection really quick. The paper clips I never use because I don't use paper clips. I've got a whole collection of them. Here we go. This is bonus content. Let's see if there's anything in here that'll make excellent, excellent stories. Okay, hold on. Excellent content. And this is all, this is all eggplants and then my kidney paperclip that Colleen sent me. It's a succulent paperclip. Okay. Well, this one could side eye. This one could side eye the sexy times. Um... Oh, here we go. Here's the shape ones. I knew I had a bunch of shape ones in here. Here's a girl from the Planner Society. I wonder if there's any. That one could be a wiener. There's a lot of wieners. The fuck is that? Oh, here we go. Okay. You want Gorby? Hold on. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna go there. Let's. I'm gonna set this aside for the next live plan with me when I've had more to drink. We're gonna put, I'm taking the cactus one and putting it in my drawer so it's easier accessed than having it put aside. I have no idea where I got most of these clips. People sent them to me. I don't use paper clips, so I just get a whole bunch of them, but I don't actually use them, so I just collect them because I can't bear to get rid of them because they all have sentimental value to me, but I don't use them. <sighs> yeah, that was a tease, you're right. It was a tease. Here's a horse. Uh-oh, we got to get the horse for all the... What are they called? The dudes that want to have sex with My Little Pony? What are they called? They have names. They're not the furries. Those are other people. But the pony bros, whatever their fucking names are. I'm going to get so... I'm getting so in trouble. Bronies. Thank you. Bronies. There we go. There's a brony for you. Hold on. I'm putting these away. And then I'll go get Gorby for a hot minute. Gorby stays in my kitchen. He stays in my kitchen because that's where all the nesting dolls are. He gets to have a, a home with all the other nesting dolls and then he moonlights on my desk when I'm planning. <laughs> Here's Gorby, or as, George, as RJ calls him, George W. Bush. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm not gonna edit this. This is my fucking channel. You know, I, here's the thing. I'm gonna be real on it. I'm gonna end this on, Gorbachev and I are gonna have a real talk with you guys about products that get sent to me for free. I will never, Gorbachev is like, don't hit me with that thing. I am never going to make a video that isn't me and me is however I am in any given moment. And right now, apparently I wanna talk about bronies and sexy paper clips and Gorbachev. The point being, is that I will never, I will never make a video to please a company who sent me products. I will make a vid, if they choose to send me products, knowing who I am, and I know for a fact that the people at Erin Condren, especially people like Sam and Erin Condren herself, have heard, have been around me enough to know who I am and know how I am. If they choose to send me products, they're gonna get me the way I do things. And if they decide that maybe they just can't handle, not because I, I wouldn't, I would not blame them if they decided after the, be, the, the, the sadomasochistic usage of their products today that they don't wanna send me anymore. And I'm fine with that. I can, I can if I wanna buy products, I can buy products if I want to. But that's just the way I am. And it's not like people who don't do what I, like say Lakin as an example. Lakin's never gonna get products not sent to her because she uses them for S&M because that's not, Lakin style in her videos, at least I'm assuming Lakin. I'll make that assumption about you. That doesn't make Lakin a bad person or Lakin do different. She just does different kinds of videos. And these are the kind of videos I make, especially when I go live. And I'm not going to change that because products were sent to me for free. So if they don't send them, I'm not going to be offended. I'll understand. And I don't really care because I will just buy them myself if I want to review them. And I will not have any hard feelings. But if they do keep sending them to me, I'll be impressed because then I'll be like, you know what? You're fine with people being themselves and having their own opinions. So either way, doesn't matter to me. I'm totally fine either way. And I'm excited for the things I got that I'm going to keep. And I'm fine with getting rid of the things I'm not going to keep. So yeah. Right, Gorby? Right. Yeah. <laughs> not yet. Like it does now. <laughs> like it's like next video. I just got monetized. Now I'm going to get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so and like they they'll know that my audience will be feel free to have whatever opinions they want about stuff and if they really like something they're gonna like it like those of you guys who agree with me that this thing is fucking majestic or this thing right here the sensual wall calendar like things will go over big and some things won't and that's fine and I don't I don't care because it's not my point my goal here is to give you as many honest reviews and critiques and maybe hashtag with a little bit of Gorbachev and S&M but the point being is that it won't stop me from doing the things I'm doing either way I appreciate everything that gets sent to me for free because those are less things I have to spend my money on which means more things I can spend on items that maybe have never heard of me. Like if Aaron Condren sends me this stuff to take a look at, I don't have to buy that, which means I can spend the money I was gonna buy on that on different pens that people have asked me to review. It just makes it so that I can review more things and I appreciate that very, very much. But at the same time, I'm not reliant on it. So I don't worry if they're not gonna send it. That's why I don't worry about giving my honest opinion of things because I know that in the end, Right now, I am able to subsidize the things that I want to review without anything getting sent to me for free. And so, and that's not a brag. That's just the way I've set everything up. So anything extra is a bonus. What was it that people said looked like a mandrake? I'm not sure. I think I missed that part. Anyway. Oh, the eggplant guy? Here you go, Romy. This dude, he does look like a mandrake. This guy was sent to me by Jen McCutcheon and I hope she watches this video at some point because I'm gonna have to thank her for this also, but like this thing is rad. I love it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get going, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to like this video before you leave because people have already disliked it and that's just a sad state of affairs. Say goodbye to my good friend Gorbachev, whose um, his rapper name is George W. Bush, according to RJ. <laughs> I'm never going to drop that. I think he thinks it's George W. Bush who a bird pooped on, and that just amuses me to no end. So um, have a fabulous day, and I will see you next time.